how you love me electric like you do Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I wanted to film this on my camera, but I forgot to bring it. Um, so it's just going to be filmed on my phone and hopefully you don't mind. Um, but today I am at my mom's house, which is where I keep all of my like uh, resale or closet sale inventory. I'm kind of going through a lot. It normally doesn't look like this. I have a ton of stuff on the floor. Um, so I thought I would kind of like show you guys behind the scenes of listing stuff, um, what I do for taking pictures and that kind of thing. Sometimes I'll have my mom help or my husband will help, but I really wanted to show you guys how I do it by myself since I figured most people do it by themselves. I thought that would be the most helpful. Um, I did also want to mention that I will be at an outdoor sale this coming Saturday. So anything that doesn't sell, sell this week um, on my online shop on curtsy is going to be taken off curtsy and sold at the sidewalk sale. And then I'll just like relist or, um, I'm not going to delete the post completely. I'll probably just like ghost them or hide them or whatever they're called. And then whatever doesn't sell, I'll just put it back up. It doesn't sell, not sell. Um, so yeah, that is what today's video is going to be. And, um, hopefully it's helpful. Okay. So this huge mess on the floor is from me. I just brought all this stuff over from my mom's house or from my house to my mom's house. None of it has been listed before. Um, some of it still has tags that I need to take off. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm taking pictures today. And then once I take pictures of everything, I'm going to list everything. That's just what works best for me is I take pictures first and then list it for a while. I would take a picture list, take a picture list, but I noticed I got distracted. Um, so this is just the current way I am wearing shorts in case you're wondering, I do have pants on. Um, but yeah, so I was going to show you guys like a few of the things I'm going to list. This is just like a little vintage skirt. I thrifted a long time ago, got a lot of wear out of it, um, and I just don't wear it anymore. It's a size three, so I think that's juniors. Yeah, it's an odd number, so it's junior sizing. Um, I am going to list that. Really cute little skirt. It just doesn't fit me anymore. I bought it when I was like trying, like losing weight, um, and now it just is too big on me. Next is this cute vintage Winnie the Pooh t-shirt and this tragically I'm really sad about it uh, it had a new with tags tag on it and it fell off so that's sad I don't know what happened to it I thought I threw it in the bag but it was not there so I think it's gone forever now either way it's a cute little baby tee um, and I think it will be good to sell this next item is a little slip dress that I thrifted while in Hilton Head I originally was going to keep it for myself but it is too big for me and I had a lot of interest in it when I showed it in one of my videos. So I am going to go ahead and list it as well. It's an August Silk Intimates size medium. And it's so cool. It's got playing cards all over it. I love it. It would be such a fun piece for like a Vegas trip or like a birthday shoe, anything like that. Very, very cool. I love it. I haven't been able to find anything like it online. So I am really excited that I grabbed it. Um, this is just a new with tags Zara shirt that I got at Goodwill and I never wore. So I decided to sell that. Here is a little Lily Pulitzer dress I originally got for a photo shoot that didn't end up happening. So I'm going to sell that as well. Just a cool vintage, uh, what are they called? Sweater vest from Liz Sport. It's really cool coloring. So I think that that one will sell well. What else is on? Here is a new with tags dress from Oh Polly. Um, new with tags. I, can't, I found it online, but I can't remember how much it was. I want to say it was like 160 or something, something crazy. It is beautiful and be a perfect like brides, like um, bachelorette party or a bridal shower, something like that. Little free people blouse. 
another Opali dress. I thrifted the same day. I thrifted three, but I'm just keeping one for myself. I'm going to sell the other two. Cool little vintage dress that I was going to have um, taken in, but I just haven't. So I thought I'd go ahead and sell it. Sell it. Uh, this is from the brand Aqua Blues, and it is a size 7, so also a Junior's. So cute. Really sweet dress from Mod Cloth, worn only once. This is a really fun piece. It's a, another dress from Mod Cloth. It's extra small from the brand Retrolicious. It's dinosaur print. So yeah, lots of really good stuff in here. Now I'm going to start taking pictures, which is the worst, but once I get into the flow of it, it's fine. Just found out that my head was cut off in all those clips. But you can see the clothes, so that's all that matters, right? So when it comes to photos, I have done a lot of different techniques over time, but always the best option for me when the item fits me is to do a mirror photo. I don't know what it is. The items just sell so much faster even faster than when I do like a self timer pick. I don't know what it is. People like mirror photos. So using this mirror, my background's not the best, but I have noticed that that doesn't really matter either. Obviously the prettier, the better, but I'm not going to worry about that because the items sell either way. So don't stress too much about the location as long as there's good lighting and they can fully see the item. I think that's all that matters. Here is the first one I'm going to take pictures of. This is the dress from Mod Cloth, like I mentioned. And oh, the light, you can kind of see it. It's a really cool print um, and it has pockets. But now I'm gonna take pictures and then I'll insert the pictures that I take here. Here is the next dress, as you guys can probably see from the photos. I don't do really anything crazy. You don't need to go all out. I know some people do some like amazing quality photos and I've done that before too, but um, really the mirror pictures just always sell the best for me. So just going to go with what works for me. This dress also has pockets, has never been worn. So I make sure to get front and back photo. And then I take a picture of the tag as well. Here is the next one. This is the vintage dress I was talking about being too big on me. Um, you can see it's just like too big in the arms. So I'm going to sell it. It is really cute though, but not something that I have to have, or I would just get it taken in like here but I think it is really cute and will sell so I'm going to take a picture where it kind of looks fitted um just for the seller to kind of imagine it but I am going to also show a photo where you can see how big it is just because my curtsy profile does say that I am like a double zero to a zero I don't want it to appear fitted and then someone who is also a zero think that it's going to be fitted if that makes sense here is the Opali dress. Um, one thing that I am going to specifically take a photo of is that it does have this cinch right here. And I want to mention that it is functioning. Um, now, I don't think it's going to add like too much length, but I just like to mention stuff like that. And uh, that the straps are also adjustable is another good thing to mention. So I just finished doing all the dresses and now I... Uh, I just put on a pair of jeans. These are actually for sale in my closet too. Um, and now I'm just going to do some tops. This is a free people top, which sells really well. And um, I wanted to film it because I wanted to mention that I do a regular picture. And then I also show a picture to kind of like show what the sleeve looks like. Because it's such like a big bellowy sleeve and how you can move it up or down. Okay, so I have finished taking photos of everything I'm going to take photos of today because I can't do it all today. Now I'm going to hang everything up so I don't get it mixed up with things I didn't take pictures of. So I was just going to do a little time lapse for that because I think those are fun. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
criticize the risk All I am is a friend Your friend till the end All I am is a friend Your friend till the end Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you all is what I do for packaging. So I'm going to just package one order with you guys and I'm going to package this cute little tank top that I sold. So first what I do is I lay out everything that I'll need for the package. I use this like clear little slip to put the item in. Initially, that's just an extra step I do because I really care about packaging. Um, that was my mom's idea and I love it. And then I put that inside of a mailer. These are my favorite mailers. They're from Magical Mailers. They are very sturdy and they come in tons of cute little prints. And then I add a sticker and my mom got these for me. I'm not sure where. It's just a thank you sticker. But I have bought stickers off Etsy before, off Amazon. There's tons of cute shipping stuff out there. And before I package this up, I also wanted to tell you guys, um, one of my most frequently asked questions is like the best platform for selling. And for the longest time, my best platform was Vinted. But over the past year or so, I feel like Vinted has really slowed down and it might be because Curtsy has come out. Curtsy has been incredible for, incredible for me. I have made a lot of money. I don't know the exact amount I've made. So it'll probably either be like the title of this video or I'll put it here if it's not the title of the video. But in a very short period of time, I started making a lot of money doing exactly what I showed you guys here. So um, other than that, I will use Poshmark for more expensive things or eBay for like extremely rare uh, like antique things, but usually uh, Curtsy is my favorite app and I also have a coupon code with them I'm not sure if it's still active, but if it is it'll be in the description of this video and I'll also put it here Hopefully I'll remember but let me go get the label and then I will show you guys packaging the order Okay, so lowered this a little bit and flipped over the uh, shipping label just for their address privacy as well as mine And I'm going to I just use the Dymo printer for a uh, Dymo label writer for reference. It's really easy to use. And if you're getting into reselling, I think it's a great investment. It's a great product. So first I just uh, fold the item. This one's really tiny. And then slip it into the little plastic piece. Has this tape here that is always hard to get off but wow I actually did it first try that time and then press out all the air and gonna add a thank you sticker and then slip that in here because I'm extra and I want it to be cute and then I just apply the label which I'm not going to show you all and then it is good to go so I'm going to package one more but not walk it walk you guys through it just you know just so you can see it again. So here's the next item that I sold. It is a For Love and Lemons dress that I thrifted. I paid less than $5 for it. And it did have a hole in the seam over here, which I noted, but my mom stitched up for me. You can only see the stitching actually on the inside part here. So I just showed that in the photo. Other than that, the dress is perfect and ready to wear. So going to fold this up and I sold this for I'm making $40 after shipping and everything so my profits 40 
But that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave any questions you have for me below. Check out my curtsy closet as well. If you want to shop my closet or just really kind of research prices and that kind of thing, you can read reviews that I've had um, and see how many sales I've had on curtsy, etc., etc. You can also check out my Poshmark Vinted and everything else. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye. Ooh, that sugar sweet, you got what I need Sipping on the potion, all that good emotion Just my kind of